Well, hey there, folks. Today, uh... Hang on. <clears throat> hey there, folks. Today, I'm going to tell you about a book I just bought. It's called 14,000 Things to Be Happy About. It was $4. Now, uh, what this book actually is, is just pages with lists of things that apparently make me happy. Let's, let's find out. Upon looking at the first page, I realize it's 14,000 things that could make some people happy, uh, but not, not everything will make me specifically happy. Mugs of soup. I like mugs of soup. Parks. Mini breaks. Watching Groundhog Day again. And again, and again, ha ha ha. Let's try a different page here. Galileo slow thermometers. A funny story, we got my mom one of those because she really wanted one for Christmas one year, and uh, an hour later it fell off the coffee table, shattered, stained the carpet. So actually I have a rather poor memory about those. Nasty things. Zalrai. Zal, like it says Z apostrophe all right in quotation marks. Is that a quote from something? It doesn't make me happy, just confused. Being charming. Being charming does make me happy. Am I charming? Tic-tac-toe. I hate tic-tac-toe. I'm going to be perfectly honest about that. I think it's the dumbest game. Either you're playing someone who knows how to win every time, and then they win every time, or it's a cat game every time. For the record, I do know how to win every time. If I go first, I mean. Beautifully bound book. A beautifully bound book is good. This is not a beautifully bound book because when I first, you know, tried opening it up a few times to peek through it, it kept turning to the same four pages. So the binding has it so that there's like three choices. I mean, that's normal for a small paperback, but it was kind of obnoxious reading. There it is, pizza brick. Every time. What is a pizza brick? Is that something you cook a pizza on? Or is it a brick of pizza? Because that sounds like a recipe for indigestion. Like, painful indigestion. <laughs> baby dandelions. No. 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 Because baby dandelions mean they haven't come up yet, so they're just these ugly <sighs> of leaves that are edible. Do-gooders. It depends. I mean, I, I respect charity for charity's sake, but uh, when they're, you know, obvious do-gooders, like, look at me, I'm throwing money around. Those don't make me happy. Those are annoying. And if any of these are making you happy, then I've done my job. Why don't Why don't I just read down a page? This is <clears throat> a brick paved courtyard with a cluster of gift shops. The mysterious writer in a fancy cafe. Never met one of those. Eggs hatching. Talking to reporters. Warm weather dressing. Hide bed sofas. Cooling donuts hung on low wooden dowels. A beehive oven capable of baking many loaves of bread at one time, bringing towels and soap. Beats the alternative. A plain thin bracelet. Beds of nails. Georgia. Here's a colon. Brown fashers singing in the pines. Sweet scent of Cherokee rose. Tropical flowers floating in swamps. The call of the coyote. That's another one I have to say something about. We had coyotes at my old house. And they, they don't call, they make this weird barking sound and keep you up all freaking night. Southern fried chicken and cream gravy, hot biscuits, small new potatoes, a big salad, and a huge helping of peas. Just like the old south. West. Lakeview bedrooms. Oh yes. Room settings. Thick carpets in red, orange, and yellow. What about blue? Always having something to look forward to. Love. Life. Work. Happiness. Baked pears for dessert. Not my favorite. Definitions. It's funny, because some of them have, like, when I explain the always having something to look forward to, some of them just have random definitions. It's, and then some of them that I think deserve definitions, such as true love. That's in there. I mean, hey, what is true love? Who knows? That's just, I, I don't know. That, that deserves something. Don't you have the answers, Barbara Ann Kipper? I'd say about one in six things in here I recognize enough to make me happy, but uh, I don't know, it's nice to have around. If I'm ever in a blue moment, I'll pick it up and I'll read Weeping Willows. Nope, it failed me. Before any post I do now, I might just, if I don't lose or burn this book anytime soon, uh, I'll probably just read a few things from it. And if it makes you happy, at least that video did something for you. If the rest of it, you know, ruined your existence on Earth, which I don't 
any of mine have been powerful enough to do. Oh well. Stay fresh. Fresher than fresh. Stay as fresh as something just picked from the ground. Yeah!